Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. Oh, no, I can't drag that there. Um, I believe... Well, I actually looked up how the chain attack keys work, and yeah, sorry, it was my fault. But let's see if I've completely figured it out. Right. Hold it down, and then... Yes! Oh, no, too slow. fast okay yeah so that's how you do it what you got to do is got to um, hold down alt control shift or caps lock or not at all of them together and then right click at exactly the moment that infinity symbol appears in my defense, it does not say that. And if there is a manual, I don't know where it is. Or I don't have access to it offline at the minute, so yeah. In my defense. But yeah, it was my own fault. Right. Now what I need to do, of course is check that there are not any more Arrhenians around. Actually, I could do a healing. Can I drag that to there? Because that would be helpful if I could. No? Hmm. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is actually something around here. There's a soldier there. Let's deal with him first. Oh, no, too quick. Agro powerful. Right, another level. Um higher level heal spells. Do I want higher level heal spells? I probably do want higher level heal spells, actually. Now here's a question, am I finally going to decide that I'm going to use swords? Uh, or do I want dodge instead? Because if I, if I do another point in here I've pretty much got to decide to use swords for the rest of the game. Yeah, screw it. Yes, I do accept changes. That's soldier down there, or is it not? I can't actually see. Yes, it is. Right, you are the other side of this tree branch. Right. I remember him from my days in PS2. I've got to go all the way around here. Ask that guy, that person that I can see through the um, window. And it'll be down. No, it's down here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's so much fun when you know how to actually use the system that you're playing. It's one of the difficulties, of course, of playing um, old games like this. Is that they don't necessarily explain themselves very easily. Right. 
Now I believe there's still a few soldiers lying around, so I'm just going to check. Yes, I am the type of player that will check every nook and cranny, because I want to make sure they're all dead. Actually, I've just thought of somewhere where a soldier might be hiding. Back here, I believe, there's a gate, or a kind of blocked by a cart access way to this side. Access point is on a map. No, that's not the map. It's about here-ish. I think so, anyway. And there is a soldier there. I want to kill. Because I want to kill them all. Yes. No survivors. Personal rule of mine. No, he's not there. I thought there was a soldier here. Really thought there was a soldier here. Hmm. I'm sure I remembered a soldier there, but I must have remembered falsely. Anyway, doesn't matter. I've always thought this sky looks kind of a bit like Armageddon, and I think that's intentional. Now I'm sure there's more stuff around here I can loot. I tell you, I'll get rid of this guy first. So far, I've only picked up a revive scroll and a few gold. And that seems less than it should be. Hmm. Another Iranian down there. There's probably other Iranians close to me though. Ah, here we go, and I take two of them. Yes, I can. Oh, that's no good, giving me a locked flipping thing at this stage of the game, is there? I don't have pick locked ability. It's locked. Oh. You don't get the character who can unlock things for at least another several levels. Come on. Come on. I hate it when that used to happen, but that, that usually happens far, far, far later in the game. It doesn't tend to happen now. When it happens in flipping Linnell, or Rennell, or how the heck you say it. Yeah, on. Get closer then. 
Oh shit, no, I did not mean to do that. Well, I suppose it didn't matter. Are there any soldiers hiding about here that I need to know about? Doesn't look like it. I can't believe the game gave me a fripping locked container when you don't even have the character that has the unlock skill yet. Uh, annoying bug. Okay. At least that one was unlockable. Ugh. Cry, I do still have a cold, but, you know. I've been saying to myself that I'd do this for ages, so I did. I'm not one of those people that believes in quitting just because you're a bit ill. Because that's bad. Hmm. What status am I at? I'm probably not going to reach level 4 yet. Yeah, that's at least 145. I don't see that there's 145 experience lying around. So, yeah. I should be strong enough to um, beat the boss of this level quite easily though. I mean to be fair, as long as you're level 2 and are reasonably okay, you're, you're fine. It's just you don't want to sneak the, your way there and only at level 1 and not know how to do your chain attack keys. You will die if you attempt that. You will die, they are merciless. I'm sure there's more items in this line around, but never mind. Never mind, if there's a way of searching for them, I don't know about it. Oh, hello, there's one here. Five. Well, my speed's gone down a little bit, but that don't matter. Oh, and there's a soldier here. Didn't know there was a soldier here. If we don't run now, they'll cut our throats. Because, lady, they'll kill you if you don't. If it's not war, it's the plague. If it's not the plague, it's a drought. Or rain rots the wheat in the field. 
I give my offerings at the shrine, but the gods are never pleased. Nothing to do but bury the dead and endure. Well, that is your kind of lot, isn't it? Yeah. Joseph, you must leave Massad at once. The soldiers are looking for you. They guard the King's Highway, so the river is your only hope. The miller has a boat. Cross this bridge to the mill, but watch out for Rennies. Sail up the Dahu to Lanel, where the King of Medivert holds court. You'll be safe within its walls. And doesn't your friend Yago live there? Why are they looking for me? Lahara, take me if I know. Lahara, by the way, is their trickster god, or goddess, to be precise. There's a bit of a backstory behind her, but never mind. They're looking for a peasant with a mark on his hand, just like the mark you've got. What they would, what would they want with you? These ain't raiders or brigades. Look at their armour. Look at their swords. These are Orenian soldiers, Joseph. Minions of the Emperor. They're burning down the village. Orenia lies far to the north beyond the deep waters of the Cadium. Or Cadrum? Cadim? Not sure. I've heard only stories of the traders and troubadours. They say the Orenies are savages and blood drinkers ruled by the sorcerer Murad. Well, Murad is a sorcerer, so you are partly correct there. Aye, uh, I saw one as big as a cottage down by the mill. His hammer will take your head off, lad. You mean the one we can see? A little bit to the right? Just there? Yeah, he's, a, he's the boss. The vagabond who came to Massad with you all those years ago. He said if you ever needed his help, find him in Lanel. You're in terrible danger, Joseph, but how will that beggar save you? Go to Lanel, Joseph, and find Yago. If the Rennies are after you, perhaps he knows why. Right, save the game. It's unlikely that I'll die, but yeah, let's not. I think you start with your sword undrawn anyway, but let's draw it just in case. Epic music. imagine how hellish this would be if I didn't have chain attack keys right now? At least I figured out how to do that. Right, let's go. Having eluded the Orenians, Joseph sailed to Lanel, where he hoped to find the old beggar named Yago. In the tongue of the ancient Runari, Lanel means city of gods. For upon this site, the towers of Iliosi stood. Now Lanel was capital of Mediva, seat of King Belius VI, descendant of the victors of the Medivan conquest.
Oh, that's interesting. I actually include where Linnell is. Yes! Yeah, hard luck for you, mate. Can I talk to the hair? Yes, I can. Have you heard? The Rennies, I think that's how you say it, but I'm saying it like that anyway, are looking for a boy with a mark on his hand. I wonder what the Emperor wants with him. Hmm. Well, that will be us. At least the cloth gloves probably hide that. The war cannot wait for a laggard ship. The day the Bastion reaches port, the Rennies will storm our gates. We'll have to fight them off with fish and bones. Now, I believe there's a bit of a backstory behind the Bastion, but those of you who've played Sumner 2 will know it never did reach Linnell ever. The Emperor and the King chose a bad season for war. Three days we've been waiting for the Bastion and not a sign of her. That's because it's been taken over by pirates. In another part of the world entirely. In a place I can't actually quite remember the name of. Sorry, it's in Summoner 2, but... Twenty years of peace has rusted my sword in its scabbard. Why do I bother? The king has no lack of snakes to hiss in his ear, and my war horse forgets his training. Huh. Fair point. Watch yourself, villain. Villain, by the way, is technically um, how you refer to a farmer. It, it evolved um, through later use to mean bad guy, but that's what it originally meant. Or you'll be marching north in the king's army. That's our job. You see, we earn a handsome bounty finding soldiers for his majesty. Ugh. I really ought to get this cold sword out. Probably doesn't make for that good listening, but never mind. And yeah, the rest of them have already walked through the gate. Could sell stuff to her, but can't be asked. What is he? Oh no, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Hold on. I have no interest for salted fish. Greetings, adventurer. I have a task for a brave warrior such as yourself. Well, that sounds ominous. Band of robbers near Linnell. Find and vanquish these villains, bring me the bow of Zane and their leader, and I will reward you richly.
I'll let you in on a bit of a secret. It's not really worth it to kill Zane and his band of robbers. Yeah, because otherwise he cheats you. That is a mild spoiler, but you know what? I don't care. Lahara take these lords. Every bridge and port demands its share. They bleed us dry with their tolls, and now I have to pay again. Right, I think I'm going to pick up a cu couple of quests here. And then I will probably move on. What am I going to do? The captain says we must leave Linnell, but I am not going to get in a boat without my lucky charm. An earring given to me by a spirit on the Sea of Kadrim. Or Kadim, I don't know. I lost it in a game of chance with a gambler named Ivas. Well, here's an idea for you. Don't freaking gamble what you're not prepared to lose. If you get it back for me, I'll reward you. Right, this is a long quest. This is a very, 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 very long quest. But it's well worth getting. The end result of this quest is a very, very powerful sword that you probably won't use, to be honest. Or I probably won't use, because the character who can use it I generally have on blood weapons anyway. But if nothing else, you could sell the sword. And the experience from it is truly impressive. So yeah, that's why you, you, you do it anyway. Mercenary, there's nothing in war for us but money and plunder. And if we can't plunder from the enemy, we'll plunder from the villagers, burn their houses and steal their pigs. Well, you're a fucking liability then, aren't you? Right. I think this will be a short mini-episode. Um, it's probably only been about 20 minutes. Well, no, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll extend it a little bit. Talk to this guy first. Arg I'm not even going to attempt to read that. Is something Berk jerked revive ox cut? Anima treasure can't read, can't read, can't read, drinkable. A poor four, yeah, I don't know. Big delicious. Where is the ox car actually? If I knew where the ox car is, I'd start stealing stuff from it. Because I think it's a hint for things that are near here. Uh, hold on. No. Oh, yeah, I've already talked to you. Fiery fashion. Do I... Oh, bit of a glitch there. Um, do I want it? 30 damage, but slight effect chance of a fireball. Hmm. Compare. 35. Nah. The fireball chance is nice, but nah. Is there one here, I wonder? Nope, don't look like it. We'll get closer and have a good look, but don't look like it. Much, much easier to search for stuff on the PS2, I must say. Don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but yeah. Hmm. 
rat that I probably can't do anything to. Hello, Mr. Rat. Mr. Glitchy Rat as well. Curse that sun for moving so slow. Don't curse the sun, you idiot. You need the sun. Now I know where he lives and it's not actually near here yet. The Rennies are a vicious horde. Their swords are sharper and faster than any blade this side of the Kadim. And their cannons are dragons of brass. And he probably knows. Oil merchant, eh? Oh, okay. Whoa! I do not have that much money! Sell. Offering me 14. Yeah, alright, why not? Get rid of that. Give me some money. Okay. What's the point in telling me he has a clever plan if you're not going to tell me? You're just a liability. Yeah. I don't I don't think you're gonna fight their fleet. I, I don't think it's gonna happen. Emperor Murad's cruelty knows no bounds, but why there must be such hatred in Ronell? The Arenians have done nothing wrong, it's the Emperor who's to blame. Fair point, actually. Fair point. Ooh, bit of lag. Can I talk to you? Yeah, again. These Rennies are fools to defile the soil of Medeva. Our sons will be home before the next moon, I wager. Really? That sounds awfully similar to claims made that the war would be over before Christmas. We all know how that went. Anyway, I shall end this episode here. I hope my earlier idiocy is not too bad. Good lord, Rennie speak the tongue of spiders, their blood flows black and vile. Forgotten the ridiculous dialogue this game sometimes had. Um, well, I suppose it's meant to imply deliberate racism. But yeah, I will end this episode here. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm sorry this was slightly short, but I really do have to cut it short here. So thank you all for watching. Bye for now.